feel like Rocky Ball Ball. I'm walking around my crib, punching everything. What? Bro, let my chair say something. What? Stop playing, boy. <laughs> If you ever see somebody get knocked out, go ahead and smash that like button. <laughs> Don't ask me why I have these, because I'm going to tell you anyway. All right, listen, listen. I ain't even do an intro, matter of fact. I had these gloves because he was he was, he was was talking spicy. I'm not going to lie. He was talking like real, like crazy. Like, yo, he kept saying how he would knock me out. For me, he don't want to do it to me. I ain't going to lie. I feel like I don't want to violate you like that. I bet he a boxer or something like that. I don't know. I don't box. You feel me? Um, I, I probably would like to learn. You feel me? Officially how to box or whatever. But for me, at the same time, the hands still work, bro. That's what I told him. You feel me? So he comes and tells me that I cannot fight him unless I pay him on some boxer flow. Like, 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 like I, I gotta pay him to beat his ass. So I went ahead and I bought these gloves. I'm like, yo, bro, we gonna fight with gloves on? Cause I, I guess he thought like, you feel me? Um, um, well, that's what I thought too. We gonna, you know, 30 seconds real quick. Do, 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 do. So I bought these gloves on Amazon. You see the gloves? Boom. So I'm like, you know, feel me? Hit him with the ammo. Can. Boom, 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 boom. These gloves, I feel like Rocky Ball Ball. I'm walking around my crib punching everything. What? Bro, let my chair say something. What? what? Stop playing, boy. My, yo, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But listen, listen, listen. I probably got bad form and everything. This story time, and yeah, it's a story time. It's a funny story time. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I was, uh, when I first remembered this story time, I was smiling. You know I mean, when I looked at my notes, when I was like, oh, I could record this one today, I was smiling. It's a fun, I like, it was, it was, it was a funny day. It was, it was just, it was just one of those days. But peep this, peep this. If you haven't smashed that like button, you feel me, that you should have been done that. I don't know what you, if you're not Noti Gang, that's another one. I don't know what you're doing too. Like, you might as well join. You feel me, it's free to join. Facts. You know, join the elite. You know what I'm saying? A and P double A chain with a vibe. Um, if you don't follow me on IG, you slack it because I told everybody on IG, do rags when I think. These, these ain't mine. These is, you know, my sister gave me this. But the do-rags that I be having, I can't get them right now because I don't have hands right now. Ugh. All right, look. These, these, all right, so so these do-rags, the ones I be wearing, these coming real soon. I talked to the, um, it was, a, it was, a, bro, I hate talking about it because it's like, every time I talk about it, give me touch. Moving on. All right, just moving on. This story time is lit. All right, this story time is lit. It's fun. I'm leaving the gloves on, too. Don't tell me to take it off. So let's go back in time. Going back to, I think I was middle school still. I'm not even going to lie. I think I was in sixth grade or something. Like, nah, I'm lying. I had to be a little older because I had a North Face book bag. And when I had a North Face book bag, that's probably freshman year i don't remember i'm not glad i was definitely in school for me it's either eighth grade sixth grade or high school. freshman year but it couldn't be seventh grade because i was in dr I got, I got deported to dr for a whole year listen let's go with eighth grade just to be safe all right just to be safe all right so as you know already and if you don't know already i right, by the way for people who are, who are I, I forget that like yeah the majority of my fans they come from new york city but i do have you feel me uh new jersey shout out to new jersey you feel me shout out to the whole brick city the you know, big facts for me uh shout out to connecticut shout out to everybody that's you from pa everybody for me and everybody that's that's not from those three that i just mentioned comment down your state by the way i just want to know where you from you feel me showing love whatever y'all definitely showing love too but check this out check this out so in new york you feel me transportation is a big thing you feel me most people don't have cars you know uh, the mta is the form of transportation you feel me if you don't have a car and it works i'm not gonna lie like yeah it is annoying and stuff like that but it works bro keep it a book it does work it, is, it doesn't work the way you want it to work but it works you feel me for most of the time it do long story short for me the minute you um you feel me you in sixth grade you get a little school metric card for me if you know about the school metric card for me facts comment down if you had a half fare or a full fare they had different types so the half fare was basically you put the metric card in the bus and you had to put half of the fare. So if the, so if the fare was one dollar, you you put fifty actual cents in and the card would cover uh fifty cents. If you had the full fare, you never had to put money in. You just you know doo -doo. those are the best cards. You feel me? Like that's the one you really want to get. You know what I'm saying? I used to go ahead and lie on my. I used to lie uh in school and gave. I used to give them a different address, a fart address, so they had to give me one with a lot of rise and it was a full fare. It was a finesse to get everything. You know what I'm saying? To get yourself situated. But anyway, long story short, some kids had a half fare. Some kids they didn't even have a metric card you feel me to go to school and home every day and yeah most uh uh bus drivers did let you go by like if you see any any of my um my previous videos if you ever seen like you mentioned the mta like when you hop on the bus and you ask the bus driver for a ride and he don't look at you like you know what i'm saying like you, you don't exist bro yo can i get a ride Sometimes they might look at you, maybe a little glance real quick, like a, a glance of disgust, you feel? They that be doing that, but then, you know what I'm saying, you, do, you just walk by, you good. Very rarely do they make a big uh, deal out of it. The trains is a different story. They don't want people hopping the train, all right? But it's like the bus, if you ask the bus driver, he don't really say nothing, you know, you should be good. As long as you don't hop through the back, you feel me? And definitely be opening that door dumb hard to hop onto the back. For me, I don't know if, if those doors, I have, yo, I ain't gonna lie, I have been on the bus in a while. I don't know if those doors open up like they used to. Let me know if they do. But before, what we used to do to get on the bus real quick, we used to open the door, you feel me? Like, you gotta pull it really hard and just get in there, bro. Feel me? Just get in there. And sometimes the boys, oh, excuse me, the cops, you know what I'm saying? I forget. 
Shout out to everybody from out of state that's watching this vids. Appreciate you. But the boy, uh, nah, the cops, right? They'll, they'll be, uh, they'll be, um, they'll be wearing like Yankee fitters and like jeans. This is back in the day. I don't know how they do it now. I, I ain't gonna, I haven't been on the bus in a minute. Somebody told me they be wearing Yeezys down. They be dripped down. But whatever. Like they tend to, they, they once they see you hop it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, basically hop it means you don't pay your fare. So once they see you don't pay your fare, they take you off the um the bus and they give you a hundred dollar ticket. Like yo, bro, if I couldn't afford two dollars, you talking about for a hundred? So and this is a big issue. But I, I think they changed like that being uh, effective on your record, like because it, it was before it, was, it used to be on your record and like I think you couldn't get a job. It was like messed up. Now fast forward some more, fast forward some. Now, now that you understand the way the MCA works, right? and my fault to everybody that's from here and knows how it works already. My fault. But yeah. All right. So now check this out. This is where it get interesting. Now. So sometimes and my mom used to do this too. You feel me? Nothing wrong with it. Just you know. Whatever. You hop on a bus with your kids, you feel me, or your nephews. Like, let's say you are, you're a person over the age of 18. And, you know, you, you make your kids pay for the fare, but you don't pay for the fare. And sometimes, you feel me, I'm not going to lie, the bus driver, he let you rock. Like, or she let you rock. Because, like, you feel me, you just doing what you got to do. Get your kids from school. Get your kids from, you feel me, like, trying to go home. Like, we're trying to get them to school. You feel me, trying try to get them education. Like, bus drivers and, and, and these MTA drivers, they MTA workers, like, they real people, too. They, they you feel me, they going to understand you. Some of the best people I ever met in my life, they work for the city. You feel me, they MTA work. But I didn't have full Blown conversation with, with um, bus drivers. I done ran from I done ran from truancy. I done ran from the police. Hop on a bus and have full blown conversation. I done cried with a just by speaking like for for like thirty minutes. Just standing in the front of the bus and like everybody in the back. You feel me? You know those empty bus days and you know just talking to the bus driver. He just you know put me on game. Put me on. On, on, on life lessons, life tips, you know. They good people, bro. I'm gonna keep it told you. So most times, right, most times they'll let you slide by. They'll let you slide. By. There's always you feel me, there's always gonna be that one head, there's always gonna be that one person, or probably a rookie who just got the job or something, you know what I'm saying? That he he, he ain't letting that rock. So this one day I'm on the bus, right? I'm on my way home. And typical fan of oh excuse me, typical young matter of fact, nah, not even because I still do this to this day. I be having a bubble bus for no reason. Like I don't it be coming out of left field. I hate bros, yo. I don't know, bro. Listen, long story short, I be having these bubble bus, bro. And I be ready to go to the bathroom. I'm not playing. So usually when I come out of school, like that's my number one goal. My number one goal is not to walk around with my with my go to Kennedy's. None of that. Like I just want to go home. I want to use the bathroom, and then after, if I want to go outside, I go outside. But once I hit like 10th grade, I wasn't trying to even do that either. I was trying to, you feel me, get my money. I mean, it was on and off, like on and off. Anyway, so I'm on the bus. I'm on the bus, and the bus is packed. You feel me? It's like 3:15, 3:20. You know what I'm saying? Three o'clock is the uh, original time to, you know, kids come out of school. I don't know how it is now. It'll be four o'clock now. I'll be seeing some schools 2.15, 2 o'clock. I don't know how it is. Y'all let me know how it is now. But I'm on a bus and it's dumb packed, bro. It's mad people, bro. Right? People smelling, people talking on their phones, people talk loud as always. Always that, yo, bro. So I'm seeing people getting left behind, knocking, chasing a bus OD, some hand in hands, dumb hard on the, uh, on the window, on the glass. Hey, yo, yo! Bus, you know, just skirt off. Like, not catching it. Catch the next one. Oh, side note, side note. The worst is when the bus driver tell you that there's another bus right behind coming. And, and like, you be like, all right, all right. All right. So you wait, right? Like, you, because it, it be packed. So he tells you, yo, another bus behind. Don't worry about it. All right, cool, cool. Bro, the next bus don't come for like 30 minutes. Oh, bro, you wild. But look, look, look. But anyway, oh, oh. So the bus get to the stop, right? The bus get to the stop. And some lady hop on with three kids. For me, it's two little kids and one, like, you feel me? Like, he kind of my age, but he was mad quiet. You feel me? You could tell, like, all he do is read his books, you feel me? And, like, he was on his school flow, you feel me? And then she gets she gets on the bus, too. And when she hop on the bus, like, I peep that she didn't pay, but, like, I don't care because you feel me? I'm, I'm trying to go home. I got the bubble guns right now. Like, I'm trying, you feel me? It ain't that bad right now, but it's, it's whatever. But like, they, 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 but the older kids paid. All of them, you know, I seen them all put the card in. So she get in the bus, and, you know, there's more people behind getting on to they paying some of them don't pay whatever whatever so i'm holding on to the um to the rail you feel me i'm chilling like i'm just trying to go bro i'm trying to go home i mean i'm just thinking about the toilet i'm not gonna lie I'm, yo i'm be like that anyway anyway fast forward some more the bus not moving i got the bubble the bus gotta start moving i got the bubble come on yo the bus not moving right bus driver gonna yell out he ain't even yo bro you know you know how sometimes you know how you give one warning like you don't scream the first time usually what you do is you say hey yo um this is what's gonna happen you feel me i, I whatever the second time when people don't listen to you i right, boom you, you know what I'm saying? you want some like loud loud type of time nah Nah, not this bus driver. The first thing he did was get loud. If you did not pay for your fit, get off the bus. I remember some girl was dumb now on the phone. Man, what the fuck? What? She was on the phone or whatever. She, you know what I'm saying? It be, it be them ratchet ass, be static, you off rip. But anyway, anyway, you know, nobody really got off the bus, but everybody was kind of quiet for a little bit. Like, yo, bro, like, what's up with him? Then he hops on the PA system. If you did not pay for your fare, exit out the bus. Like, he ain't even say please. Like, he, like, yo, like, get off the bus. Like, you on his bus and get off. I want you to get off. So now, you feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm like, yo, bro, now I ain't gonna hold it with certain people. Like, oh my God, hurry up, get off the bus. I gotta get to work. Mind you, it's the afternoon, so I guess, like, the afternoon shift or whatever. From I gotta go home. People are like, yo, come on, what the fuck? Yo, y'all, wow, like, come on. 
that out. People, people, you know, see, people start riding up, you know what I'm saying? The bus driver know what he's doing. We are not moving till the people who didn't pay their fare get off the bus. Oh, bro, he was not playing. It been like a good one minute, one minute too long. I started seeing people get off the bus too, you feel me? Back door! We open the back door, shh, people getting off the bus or whatever. And you see him look dumb hard through the mirror to see if anybody else get on the bus. And nobody was getting on the bus. Just people getting off. The back door's closed, you feel me? But the but the front door is still open. So I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like, and then I start thinking, oh, he probably really waiting for that one lady who came with those three kids to get off the bus. I'm like, nah, it's never that. It's not, nah, nah. He's not going that hard. I don't believe it. Well, I was definitely wrong because all I heard was, Shh. that's the little high drop. You know, the bus when it lowers down, like, Shh. It did that. When it did that, that's when I knew like we was not going nowhere anytime soon. So then he gonna say, I got all day. I don't clock out till 10 p.m. Uh, in all reality, like I feel like he had to get a step in because you know he has a route to follow, but maybe he was early on his route. So you know what I'm saying? He had to, you know, he didn't really care that much. He, he, he could do, he could probably do 15, 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Delayed or whatever. They probably wouldn't even get on him. Like, and this, by the way, this is a time before social media was uh, really viral eh, in a way. You feel me? Like, where you get people in trouble all deep. This is still like a time where, like, you know what I'm saying? People, stuff wasn't going viral and like people was, that was nowadays you cannot mess up if you're an employee for something you cannot mess up because they're gonna record you put you online and trust me you're gonna get fired there's gonna be a whole bunch of likes retweets you know what i'm saying all that so definitely that's that's not something you want to do anyway so now you from he started pointing out heads i thought she was the only one left though because that's, that's all i saw i ain't gonna because it came kind of like right behind that's the only person i really like focused on because she came like i don't know i guess the three kids came in and her too but there was more heads that didn't pay that still on the bus then he started saying it's okay police coming just like that he said police coming it's okay police coming <laughs> so now you know like two more heads hopped out and now I'm like almost 100% sure that that woman is still like that she's the only one left that, that need to pay. So now I'm thinking to my head like yo bro like if she's staying on the bus for this long and she not trying to get off it's like it's obvious that like yo bro like she really need this ride like come on just cop the plea just move on like you feel me like what yo bro it's like two dollars bro like so now it's getting a little, you feel me? Everybody mad, the tension's in the air. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go home. I think out the bubble goes. I'm not even that far from the block, bro. I'm probably like five stops away, bro. Probably a little less, like four, maybe. Bus driver gonna start walking through the aisle. And I'm seeing he coming towards the back. Like, that's where I'm at. I'm, always, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not always all the way to the back, but I'll be like right there near the uh near, near, near the rear exit. You feel me? So he's walking. I'm like, yo, wow. He's really about to get that woman off the bus. Like, that's crazy. Close to her. And I, I'm like, damn, that's OD. You feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel bad and everything. I'm not even gonna hold it. She looking straight, like she not even trying to look at him or nothing too. Yo, bro, bus driver woke right by, right by, didn't tell her nothing. Now I'm confused, like yo, so there's definitely more heads that didn't pay. Ah, right, he's walking, he's getting towards the end of the bus. He's telling a couple of keep, a, a couple of people, excuse me, because you know, the, by the way, the bus was packed, but now it's like a little clear. I'm not gonna hold, it, it got cleared out pretty quick. So he's walking and then he stops right there. Right in front of me. And I was like, uh, uh, uh. And he looks down on me because you feel me. He was like tall. He was like, nah, I'm not, he was like five eleven. I was like five one. So he looked at you feel me tall. And he got real close to me and said, "Get off my bus." What? Now I'm over here like I don't have headphones on. I got a hoodie on, but I got no headphones on. And I'm looking at him like, yo, what? Like, what's going on? Like, is this a prank? You feel me? Is this a prank? Then I hear that ratchet lady. The ratchet lady that was on the phone. Hurry up! I can't. I can't even. Pray. I can't even do it right. Hurry up and get up the phone. Get bus, man. Mm. Dad, I ain't going. I thought my mom was calling, bro. I feel like my mom was screaming at me, boy. I gotta hop out that bus so fast. Like, bro, I cut so quick, but I was like, I was embarrassed. Like I was OD embarrassed. Like yo, what just happened? And then on top of that, the boys was there. Cause they, he really did call the cops. Like the the, 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 the transit cops or whatever so now we got these three guys sit standing there but they didn't have like uh like they didn't like cops but they didn't have like the the the, the um they had the badges out but they had plain clothes or whatever and they asked me for my name i'm over here confused bro then i remember that i didn't pay for my fit <laughs> i did not pay for my fit yo i was so focused on my bubble gut i hopped on i guess i i don't remember like if i paid or not but i'm pretty sure i didn't pay so now the bus is leave i got every, yo everybody on the bus was just looking at me like yo, you you dad stayed on the bus for that long like whatever bro bye see you later now the cops is talking to me like yo what's your name school you go to i'm over here like damn i'm not trying to get them to school nothing i don't know like you feel me so i started saying a different school i, I said my cousin's school i'm like nah listen i got my metro car um i don't even know why he did that like i was you feel me and he and by the way they was there with like three other people too you feel me? They, then they just passed all they did was pass me my metro car back and said they was like don't do it again go home and i felt like he was looking at me crazy too i'm not gonna hold you. he was mad big and strong too and he yo bro and Oh, 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 I remember this. And he gonna tell me, oh, next time I pull you off the bus, you're going to jail with me. So I was quiet. I was quiet. I was tight, but I was quiet. Because I felt like I was getting embarrassed. I was getting shunned. I was getting, like, they were doing too much, bro. Like, at this point, like, okay, cool, relax, bro. But it's cool, though, because you know what I did? When I was walking away, because I had to walk home now, you feel me? And yeah, the bubble guts, they left. Because I, I was so nervous at that point, because I was like, yo, I don't know what's going on. I just felt embarrassed, like, whatever. As I, as I started walking away, you feel me? I turned around. I hit him with the New York special. Hey, yo! Hey, yo, suck my dick, bro! Just like that.
it. Gone, 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 gone. Went home. I only ran like half a block, to be honest. They ain't even, I, from what I saw, they ain't even moved to, to run after. Boy, I got home, blew the bathroom up. You know the vibes. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? The good eats, you know what I'm saying? You get good eats, you know what I'm saying? You get the lovely sit ins, you know what I'm saying? But nah, nah, nah. So anyway, but yeah, that's pretty much it, though. I'm not gonna hold you. That's a little mini throwback. It's getting dark. As you can see, when we started off, the video was mad sunny, right? But now it is 3.35, and this is how it looks at 3.35. The sun goes down at 5 o'clock. At 5 o'clock, it's, it's like darker, right? That being said, I am definitely out of here. Bro, bro, 2020, bro, we not playing with 2020, bro. And I hope you not playing either. That's a, bro, that's one thing I always say, yo, bro, don't watch, don't, don't just watch me to watch me. Like, watch me, and, and you feel me? Get on your grind, too. I love that. I love that. People all day dealing me on Instagram of what they do, what they, this is what I did. Oh, fan of yo, bro. Everybody telling me, you feel me? That's, bro, everybody going hard. Like, 2020 need to be the year that we see 2020 vision. Like, we not even playing with nobody. I'm talking about 20 male. 20 ass 20,000 in a month like going crazy what everybody yo listen hard body put that pain in for me by any means possible go hard by any means possible for me double h and hustle hard nation like this is what it means let's go hard let's go you feel me like i'm not playing with nobody and if you my friend and you know about these gloves stop playing let's go bro let's go i bought them for you bro <laughs> <laughs> yo, he a real boxer too. he finna lay me out but it's your boy finna more nah he not gonna do nothing but it's your boy finna more than mic man go ahead and drop a like man subscribe if you haven't already man and Catch me in the